Alright, now we have it marked for that other uh, cross number. This other piece setting in there now. Got it kind of half assed plant. Alright, we've got the uh, left side done, now we're going to make the third and final patch for this third side here, this third uh, cross member here. We've got to clean off a little bit more crap off of this 2x3 uh, and we'll set our plate in place on that one. So we're going to come over here, we're going to get our plate marked out and cut it and then we'll set it into place. Okay, we are going to weld this third one in. Okay, there's that. I'm going to put a couple of more stronger tacks up over the top. And I'll plant the bottom. All right, we've got all three patches on there. The center one was probably the worst one because it was um, it was all broke out on this one side, and I had the metal all ripped, and I had to cut the metal out of the way. So I ended up having to stack these pieces in there just because there wasn't enough of this two by three left. Now the other thing I could have done is let that alone and went alongside here with something and alongside there and you know we'd be doing about the same thing same thing with this one I had to put a gob of half inch uh, rod in there because that had that so fatigued that it was uh, the piece of metal was out to the front here I had to cut the piece of metal off to get it so that I had a flush area to mount this plate to Therefore, it opened up that back side there. Now, this side over here was probably the cleanest one. I was able to just saddle over the top of that, stitch the plate on there, and then I welded the uh, 2x3 cross member to that. Now, we're, we're pretty stiff here now. This table um, rotates in the back. There's a center uh, pivot right there. And then we can raise or lower. We we can raise, we can raise one side and lower the other, or vice versa. There's a hydraulic cylinder um, on this one side. You can raise or lower the platform depending on which side of the unit that you're gonna um, go out of. Now we're gonna set um, all these little center uh, idler wheels on there, and. Um, 
get the, the drive end on and then we'll go ahead and we'll um, get the idler end on the, ch the belt tensioning end. Alright, we're going to get these wheels on there now. I'm going to spray uh, these shafts first. In the past, uh, we have just gotten new shafts and that's what I should have done. I should have bought brand new shafts and just cut them off and welded the new ones on. I spent more time cleaning the uh, cleaning the old ones up than I did. Uh, yeah. So. Okay, now we're just going to slam the uh, E-clips on the back side to hold them wheels in place. Okay, all the wheels are on. Uh, got the snap rings in place. Now we're going to go and put um, the drive and assembly here together. So I'm going to get my parts for that and get that laid out. Slap the bearing on there first. Oh. Got the keyway in there. Now I'm going to put the drive coupler. set screws here just a little bit just so that in place there all right now I've got to find my other bearing Okay, now we are going to set the drive end into place. Grease on the back side. I think sure I get that in place there. That's kind of setting in there. I'm going to slam my other bearing on. Alright, now I need to get bolts, I can find them. Alright, so we're just going to bolt this in. And then once we get this all bolted in, uh, we'll put our drive motor on. So I'm going to get the bolts, I'm going to finish putting the bolts in this, and then uh, we'll put the drive on, drive motor on. Okay, I've got the bearings tight on each side of the drive end. Now I'm going to line up the uh, drive motor, the orbit drive motor, and um, that's got a key shaft on it, which I'm going to have to try to line up here uh, into the double chain coupler. Shouldn't be too hard of a job. Okay, so we've got the uh, 
motor and the coupler finally came together. Okay, so that's going to do it for tonight. I've got the drive end done. Um, bearings are tight. All I lack doing is tighten up the set screw with where that drive coupler goes on to the orbit motor. Um, I've got to wait until I turn that. I'll get somebody to help me so I can get that lined up. And then um, tomorrow we'll go ahead and set our, uh, our other bearings on here with our idler end. I've got a new idler end there. And then I'll get somebody to help me throw that new belt up in place. And then all we got left to do is put these, uh, the front and rear panel on. Um, and then that'll be done. But here is the old idler end here. And here is the old uh, drive end. So everything kind of met its de demise all at about the same time here so with that being said we are going to uh, finish this up uh, tomorrow it's a uh, Friday night now and I'm gonna call it a night it's just about 6 30 so I'm gonna get in get a shower in get something to eat and uh, maybe sit in a chair and watch a little YouTube all right all right folks uh, We'll finish her up on Saturday. Okay. Okay, it's Saturday morning. We're going to finish this thing up now. I uh, got the cows all fed. We got a little bit of snow overnight. And, uh, yeah. So, we're going to put the uh, idler shaft and, and bearings on the left side here. So, <coughs> There's springs inside these uh, tubes here that push the uh, bearings out. So we'll go ahead and slam these back. All right, we've got our bearing brackets set into place. We've got our shaft, uh, idler end shaft with the bearings on it. Now we're going to slap that belt up on there. We'll get the belt on there and then we can fish our idler shaft and in the end of the belt and get the bearings put in place.
got the belt somewhat tight. Now I'm just going to reach in here and just going to mark this. Um, oh, I got to mark this coupler here because I haven't. Where's my pencil? Yeah. I haven't. Uh, I'll put a mark right there. I haven't tightened that set screw. So that set screw is tight. And so is the other one, but I've got to tighten the set screws on that coupler on the motor side. So we're going to let this run, let the belt tensioner adjust to itself. Is that spring loaded? running right now it's walked itself forward a little bit so it's tight enough in the back I've got to tighten it a little bit on the front so it'll start to walk that belt back a little bit because it is rubbing on the front them up a little more and that's going to do it. This toggle right here goes to the right. Now we're going to run it to the left. Alright, I've got the belt um, is all on there. It's adjusted right. I've got the set screws tight there. Bearings are tight on the drive end. Bearings and um, belt tensioners are tight and the, and the belt is adjusted where it needs to be. Now I'm going to put the little wear skirts on. There's one that goes on in the back here that comes down against the top of the belt to kind of keep the sand from making it off the edge of the belt. So there's one that goes on in the back and then there's one that goes on in the front. I probably could have used um, these old ones over again, so I'll save them. I do have um, some new uh, strips here to put on there, so we'll go ahead and get that um, ready to set in place. Okay, we've got the um, back on. Now we got to do the front. This strip just keeps the sand down on the belt. So All right, we got her all together. I'm going to run some grease in there, and then we'll run it. And then after that, it should be good to go.
Alright, we'll start this up. Hit the thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't yet already. Thanks for watching folks, we'll catch you at the next video.